Greetings everyone, I am Arya A. S. Ramrastamji Institute of Technology to present on my project on microwave oven simulation. Where I got the opportunity to build this project during the internship provided by MRC Information Technologies. The contents include block diagram, working, Software requirements, embedded system, C programming, microcontroller, application. Generally, a microwave oven. Generally, a microwave oven is a kitchen appliance that revolutionized cooking by utilizing electromagnetic radiation in the microwave frequency range. The modern microwave oven. And there are sensors and actuators in which sensors detect moisture, temperature, and weight to ensure precise cooking. And the actuators control functions such as heating, rotation, and timers for a seamless cooking experience. With the help of these sensors and actuators in the embedded system, we can create a smart and efficient cooking appliance that enhances convenience and precision in the kitchen. This is a block diagram of the microcontroller which we use in this microwave oven simulation. The microcontroller is PIC 16F8778. It is a 40 pin device. And it has five ports such as port A, B, C, D, and E, which is bi directional. And external peripherals are connected to microcontroller using these ports. And it has 15 sources of interrupt and has individual bits and global interrupt enable bits called GIE. And it has timers which are 0, 1, and 2. The working of the microwave oven is in a way that, with the help of its embedded system, it generates and emits microwave radiation to heat and cook food by exciting water molecules within the food causing them to vibrate and generate This is in case of the normal microwave oven. In this project, we have created it to simulate a microwave oven using PIXM Lab and MP Lab XID. We designed and programmed a virtual microcontroller circuit within PIXM Lab and used MP Lab XID for coding, debugging, and testing the embedded software. The software requirements for the microwave oven simulator are MPLAB XID, MPLAB X8 compiler, and Pixel Lab simulator. MPLAB XID it is an integrated development environment designed for programming and debugging microcontroller based projects offering a comprehensive toolset for embedded system development. In the MPLAB X8 compiler, it is a popular compiler developed by Microchip Technology for programming and developing firmware for PIC microcontrollers. PIC Simulab Simulator, which is a powerful and friendly, user-friendly simulator, for microcontroller based circuits, enabling hardware emulation and software development for big microcontrollers. The peripherals or hardware used in this project are microcontroller PIC 16 f 8778 which has 15 sources of interrupt, records individual interrupts in flag bits 
and has individual bit and global indirect enable bit which is also known as GIE and it is a 40 pin device which has 5 ports which are bidirectional and the CLCD which is the character liquid crystal display it is used to display ASCII characters and some customization in symbols are also possible in this it has 8 data lines from D0 to D7 and it has processing time which is of two types which are delimited and BC flag. CLC is of two types they are 16 into 2 and 16 into 4 which represents the number of characters and the lines it represents and the keys also known as the tactile switch includes the pull up circuit and the pull down circuit and also the triggering methods which involves are the level and edge triggering methods and it also has interrupts mm, and the types of interrupt handlers are IVT the interrupt vector table and the ISR the interrupt service routine we have the timer which are 0, 1 and 2 and which represents resolution is register width and the tick known as up count or down count and the quantum which indicates the system clock setting and the scaling up pre or post scale and the quantum indicates the instruction cycle time which is the tick and one tick time is equal to quantum that is 1200 nanosecond the total ticks are 255 and we have buzzer, fan, cooler and matrix keypad which is represent rows and columns. About the embedded system, an embedded system is a combination of computer hardware and software designed for a specific function. Embedded systems utilize C programming for microcontroller programming enabling precise control and efficient resource management in various applications. Through this combination, embedded systems achieve precise control and functionality while maintaining a small footprint, making them individual to countless modern technologies. The types of embedded systems which are Real time system, standalone system, network, and mobile. The real time system it is strictly time specific, which means it provides output in a particular or defined time interval. The system provides good response in critical situations. In the standalone system, these are the independent systems which can work by themselves, they don't depend on a whole system. In network, these are connected to a network which may be wireless to provide output to the attached device. They communicate with the embedded web server through network. Mobile system. These are small and easy to use and require less resources. They are the most prepared embedded system and are considered to be the best. C program used in the project microwave oven simulation. The advantages of the C program are listed below efficiency, low level access, portability. The C programming is chosen in a better system for efficient memory usage and fast execution, vital for resource limited microcontrollers. And it offers direct access to hardware, which is crucial for precise control in microcontroller programming. It also can be easily adapted to different microcontroller architectures promoting core, reuse and versatility. Embedded C is a variant of the C programming language tailored for programming embedded systems, emphasizing low level hardware control and efficiency.
the topics we learned in the seed programming during the project creation of basic is a C programming which included functions, arrays, pointers, strings, etc. and the data representation which contained number system, bit, byte and word and the data types which are modifiers and qualifiers which included integer, float, etc. and the conditional constructs which are two types single and multi iterations like if else, while loop, for, do while, etc. and operators like logical, relational, bitwise, assignment, language, operators and the storage classes like auto, register and etc. the preprocessor we learned the header files and the source files. About the microcontroller, it is an integrated circuit which is capable of being programmed to perform a specific task. The design normally has restrictions on its memory size, input output capabilities, and the peripheral functions, etc. In this project, we use the microcontroller pic 16 f 877 The comparison between the microcontroller and the microprocessor as we learned. In the microcontroller, all the components are in single chip. It is less flexible and it is less design complexity. As in microprocessor, there are all our separate components. It is more flexible and it has more design complexity. As we can see in the diagrams given. Through the microcontroller program, we have various advantages that are listed below. Low level control, resource optimization, real time responsiveness. The microcontroller programming enables direct hardware interaction for precise control over peripherals. The code must be optimized for memory and processing due to limited microcontroller resources. Embrace systems demand precise timing for applications like robotics, requiring code to meet strict timing requirements. Microcontroller programming involves writing code for PIC 16 f 877 a microcontroller on the PIC Genius board to control and execute specific tasks in embedded system. This is the microcontroller PIC 16 f 877 a on the PIC Genius board of the PIC Simulab simulator and it is the architecture of the PIC 16 f 877 a microcontroller given on the right side of the slide. It has components like LEDs, buzzer, digital keypad, SSDs, matrix keypad, CLCD, AVC, LM35 time sensor, 12C RTC or EEPR room, GPIO, and RS323. The application of the microwave oven simulator is using PixinLab in the PixGenius board and which loads the .x file which can execute the simulation of microwave oven in the pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller. It prints power on message at the starting and it has different modes of cooking like micro, real, convection and start. After the power on message, it shows the different modes of cooking. In the micro mode, we have the options like clear and ender with the symbol star and hash. And after the clicking of the micro mode, it shows the power 
which is the 900 watt and the set time in the grill mode it is same as micro mode and in the convention mode it has a set temperature which is in degree celsius and it has the heating which will be done before the set temperature that is 180 seconds the preheated time is displayed and the set timer is set for cooking the four modes are used in this pic 16 f8 and 7 microcontroller for the microwave oven simulation now we can see the coding part for the microwave oven simulator this is the mp lab at hybrid integrated development environment for the coding of microwave oven this is the main battery file this is the cltd.h file and the cltd.c file the matrix keypad timer and io file This is the microcontroller in the Pixel Lab simulator, which is, has the board Pic Genius, and this is the Pic Controller. Pic 16 S8 7 microcontroller which is used to make the microwave over. As for the coding, we have displayed the power on button, then it starts. And it has two different heating settings that is the micro, grill, convention, and start. If you press the setting for the micro one, that it shoots power, which is 900 watt, and it shows the set time, which that time has to be set in seconds and minutes. And it has a clear option and uh, under option, which is the hash. The clear option is the start. Under the time, it's letting me know 8 seconds and under the flash, it starts the fan, cooler starts to rotate and the time. After the time, we have the button starts to be and the choose time. The grill mode is the same as the micro mode where the time has to be set. So you can set the grill mode and the time. The time also stops when the time is up. In the convention mode, it is set. You can set the temperature and it's in degree Celsius. And after the degree Celsius, and there is we set the preheating window to show the time remaining for the preheating which is 180 seconds and we can show the display screen in bars using the symbols provided in the active characters and this is the start option which has 30 seconds and we can pause the system using the system file and we can start the or resume the timer and cooking using the system number 4 if you want to stop the process system you have to press the number 6 to stop this is the Microcontroller using Pixel Lab Simulator that is created in this project. Thank you.